Hi everybody, it's teacher Denise and Hannah <laughs> and we wanted to share with you guys something that we do a lot in our house which is water play in the bathtub. Um, sometimes I treat the bathtub as if it is an indoor swimming pool and um, Hannah spends a lot of hours playing in the bathtub. So here are some of the things that we like to do with our bathtub time. Um, we have these little foam squares that stick beautifully to the side of the tub and um, I asked Hannah to demonstrate some things that she likes to do with them. So she sorted by color, she uh, made some shapes, uh, we made some patterns over here, we made an AB pattern and then an AAB pattern. Um, so you can, you can do things like this, make patterns with kids, talk about uh, naming the pattern. Um, but name the patterns, um, name the shapes, talk about how many sides on the shape, talk about how many corners, um, change them up. Great uh, opportunity for um, building some early math skills. Um, another thing that we like to do in the bathtub is um, we play with measuring cups and measuring spoons. Um, so we do this in the sensory table at CPNS sometimes, but the value in this, number one, the, the scooping and the pouring, um, those are really important muscle uh, development, muscle movement development. Um, can we put them in the water? Yes, you can put them in the water. Um, it also can be super soothing to scoop and pour and just watch that process happen. Um, but one of the things that we do is we have these um, measuring cups and I will challenge the kids to tell me how many of like how many of the half cup scoops does it take to fill up the whole cup scoop? And so yep. We'll scoop and pour and we'll count. And we'll use words like bigger, smaller, um, more, less, and build those concepts. And you can do this with any sensory play that you have. If you have um, a sensory table that you put out outside, or um, if you um, just get out a big tub and put rice or water or anything in there. Now can you pick up the next one? <laughs> okay, so... Other things that we do in the bathtub. Um, bathtubs are really great for imaginative play. Hannah super loves to get her mermaids and um, put the mermaids in the water and she pretends that she um, lives underwater and she has a whole underwater story that she makes up. So you can bring, if, if you're not in the mermaids, you can bring something else into the tub and you can do some imaginative play in the tub. Um, when I was in grad school, Hannah was uh, in preschool, she was like three, and I did all of my grad school work online from home, and she was around for a lot of the time that I needed to be working on school stuff. So what we would do is I would bring her into the bathroom, set her up in the bathtub, and then I would go sit on the side of the bathtub with my laptop and work. And um, she didn't need a whole lot of engagement from me because she was having fun playing in the tub. Um, and I was there to monitor and make sure she was safe, but I could also put a lot of um, attention and energy into um, my schoolwork, which I know we're all working from home right now, so maybe that's a great hack for some of you guys. Um, another thing about sensory play in water in particular is it's a really great way to help a child regulate. Um, some of the best advice that I received during this whole quarantine process was to put cranky kids in water, um, and it works. It's like magical. Something about that sensory experience of the water um, all over your body helps kind of regulate things. So that's a good tip is if you're having a cranky day, um, try some water play. Um, you can see the soap over here. Sometimes we turn this into a bubble bath. Sometimes you can throw in um, some animals. If you did a bubble bath and you couldn't see through the water, maybe you could go for a search for the animals. Sometimes at preschool, we take the animals and we freeze them in ice cube blocks 
and then we try to extricate them from the ice, um, and that's a fun experience. You can kind of like chisel out with um, popsicle sticks and other tools. Um, the kids in three day like to use spray bottles and spray on the ice. Um, so there's lots and lots of possibilities for what you could do with your bathtub um, to turn it into sensory play and um, extend the learning into math areas, imaginative play, language development, sensory, uh, or I mean, uh, emotional regulation, lots and lots of options. So I wanna know, what do you do in the bathtub? What do you guys enjoy doing? What are some of your bathtub play ideas? Um, send me an email, text me, take a picture, record a video, and let me know. How do you guys play? I oh. want to draw mine, some of my things that I did with these blocks. Okay, I was going to say goodbye, but Hannah wants to show you guys stuff. Looks like you have put um, those two red pieces corner to corner. Looks like you have them diagonally. And then you put two more yellow squares together. And you made a square, a smaller square and out of four pieces. And these two are, yellow, two red. Oh, these look, you used two. Pieces. The and same then, colors, two yellow, two red, but you arranged them differently. So half of your squares are yellow and half of your squares are red. Oop, now you have different colors coming in. All the black colors. Ah, oh, you used four different colors. Now you have one fourth of your square blue, one fourth of your square is red, one fourth is green, and one fourth is... What are you building now? A circle. Oh, you it's actually a flower. Oh, you arranged the blue squares into a flower? Interesting. All right, you want to say goodbye? <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. Bye.